subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about overfitting. Uh, this is very very important concept uh, and it is very difficult to understand. Uh, so our request is to watch the video again and again till you get the concept. Uh, we will take an example and uh, explain you what overfitting is. Uh, the example which we consider here is uh, in our first 10 classes we discussed about uh, our basic first machine learning model what's that model is a linear regression model we'll take that model and we'll explain you what overfitting is so and we'll use many concepts like uh, outlying training loss testing loss how to calculate training loss testing loss uh, all these concepts were clearly explained in our previous classes we are in an assumption that you have already watched all those concepts if you haven't watched those videos please watch that videos and come back here so now let's take an example and understand in a general sense what overfitting is then we'll go for mathematically what overfitting is the example which we consider here is the tip amount prediction data set this data set we are using this data set from our last classes so many classes we discussed about this data set that's why we, we are not concentrating much on the data set hoping that you already know how to plot this data and what's this everything okay so this is the data set which we consider so on this data set now let's take an example like this suppose we had a restaurant and in that restaurant we are having a two service boys named as boy one and boy two and these two boys are working in our restaurant from last six months and they are doing their own analysis on a tip amount prediction so they had their own analysis and after six months they made a statement like this the boy one made a statement like this he did some analysis what analysis he did it's up to him he made a statement what statement he made is on an average 10% of bill amount we get as tip amount that's the statement he made on an average 10% of the bill amount we will get it as a tip amount so he made a generalized statement generalized statement he is not specific about customers this customer will give like this this customer will give like this like that he is not specific about customers what he made he made a general statement let's take what uh, let's say understand what boy 2 has done he made a specific analysis what he made is ramesh is a customer he, he will give 10% of the bill amount as a tip amount. Uh, Suresh is a customer and he will give a 15% of the bill amount as a tip amount. Uh, like that Mahesh will give 7% of the bill amount as a tip amount. He did some specific analysis on each and every customer. So guess who made best analysis? At this point we think that Boy2 has done a good analysis on data. No boy one has done the best analysis well let's understand why because let's take a situation like this suppose a new customer has come into our restaurant this is the first time he has come into our restaurant so who will give the better prediction on tip amount on this new customer because boy two is specific about each and every customer he didn't made any general statement because boy two don't know this customer this this customer is new he cannot make better prediction on this new data new customer but he made a boy one made a general statement on an average we'll get 10 percent of that's why he will give better prediction on new unseen data what we discussed in our previous classes unseen data means testing data who will give better prediction on testing data boy one will give better prediction because boy two is specific about customers this customer this customer this may boy one made a general statement so this specific analysis we call it as a overfitted model this generalized analysis uh, this is good in machine learning so what we need 
our machine learning models has to do generalized analysis of the data not specific analysis specific analysis means uh, overfitted models overfitted models are not good at uh, predicting the test data what we discussed in our previous class uh, when we say that our machine learning model is good uh, if our model is uh, doing good prediction on test data okay then we say that our machine learning model is a good model so generalized analysis will do best prediction on test data now let's take an example and understand what's overfitting in mathematical sense so let's take an example this this is the data set which we considered on the x-axis bill amount on the y-axis we are taking the tip amount this is all training data these points are training data points we apply this training data points on our model what model we are considering it here we are considering our first model what's that model linear regression model here we are applying linear regression model on our on this training data so what this model do is it will identify a equation of the line that passing through the data that is having minimum loss so what's loss here is suppose 500 is that bill amount he has given a tip amount of 45 this is actual tip amount what our prediction will do it will predict that this is the tip amount this distance we call it as loss okay all these discussions are clearly made in our previous classes okay this distance we call it as loss we will find a line what's our model will do it will find a line that is having minimum loss okay now a new mathematician has come and he is good at mathematics he says that why why we have to apply linear models why not polynomial models so what he did is so we all know about polynomial equations ax square plus ax plus 1 is a second degree polynomial equation the shape of this equation or uh, the function will be in a parabola shape uh, like that same way ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus 1 is third degree polynomial equation the shape will be like this uh, and the fourth degree polynomial equation the shape will be like this so on on the sixth degree polynomial equation the shape is like this so what he did is he generated a new model which will identify he took the same data so so it's very important to understand on this data he applied a sixth degree polynomial equation model means if you give input as to the model this data it will identify a sixth degree polynomial equation what's this model will identify it will identify the equation of a line the same way it will identify the sixth degree polynomial equation the function is like this see you you observe this function this is specific about each and every data point see here it is specific about each and every data point that's why we call it as a overfitted model this is overfitted model it is specific about each and every data point so what we understand in overfitted models is overfitted models will have less training loss see it here 500 the actual point is here and the predicted point is also same actual point is here and the predicted point is also same means overfitted models will have less training loss but they will have more testing loss uh, how we identify uh, overfitted models this is very very important point how we identify overfitted models if training loss is less and more testing loss then we say that uh, our model is overfitted to the data okay so now under mathematically understand why overfitted models will have high testing loss uh, let's take an example like this uh, suppose uh, in machine learning we will take uh, lots of data like uh, 1 lakh data points 2 lakh data points in that uh, 1 lakh data points definitely we will have outlying points and noisy data points let's take an example for this data we added one outlying point so we added one outlying point when we gave this 
training data as input to our first model what's our model is a linear regression model our model does not change much by adding this outlying point our the same line here the same line just a small change in the line we got a new line by adding this data but uh, overfitted models will change much here our model has changed much okay you understand that why why our model has not changed much because uh, this model depends on the generalized data generalized data means 99% of the data where the 99% of the data it is identified that uh, it is identifying that generalized data suppose our model is changing much means our model has changed like this means our we find a new uh, equation it won't allow our model won't allow to identify this line because as it is moving away from general data means loss increasing most of the data points are showing loss is increasing this is what loss is that's why what's this model is this model will identify a line that is having minimum loss means it will identify a line that is more it will identify a line which is on the general data that's why this model won't allow our line move towards the what's this point outlying point so we found a line like this so same outlying point is added to our overfitted model so what overfitted model is it is specific about each and every data point that is the reason why overfitted models are specific about noisy and outlying points also so it identified a equation like this here what's missing identify observe it carefully so because we this overfitted models identify uh, are like this here we are losing the generality means at 500 most of the customers will give a tip amount of 45 to 50 but what we are predicting here it's going to 90 because so general data will be 99 percent of the general data will give 45 to 50 here we are but what we are predicting here we are predicting as 90 means we will get lot of loss loss increases on testing data that is the reason why overfitted models will have high testing loss okay and one more point we have to understand here is overfitted models we call it as high variance models uh, high variance models means for a small change in data our model will change much uh, see here observe here by adding one outlying point our model has changed much here without the outlying point our model is like this by adding one one outlying point our model has changed much uh, means our model varied much that's why we call it as high variance models so it's very very important when we call it as overfitted models high variance models means for a small change in data our model will change much okay here it it, it won't change much the line is like this little change small change in line overfitted models the model change much that's why we call it as high variance models okay this is what all about overfitting hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you